postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat thinks he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. He's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. So, Blackbeard Jack, we meet again. Her. <laughs> Ahoy there, shipmates. There's juice in the kitchen for any pirates who are thirsty. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pirate grog and ship's grub. Mm-mm. You'll have to stop sword fighting. It's the flower show today and you're squishing my flowers. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs Clifton. Oh, but what can we do instead? Why don't you look for buried treasure in the garden? Really? Just be careful of my flowers this time. <laughs> Avast, ye landlubbers! We're going to have a visitor. It's from Cousin Matt. Meow. He's coming over from America. And he's arriving today. Meow. Who's Cousin Matt? Shh. Jess? It's not Jess, Meow. Mrs Clifton. Look. Meow. But if it's not Jess, then who? Ahoy there. Matt, Pat, Matt. <laughs> That's Cousin Matt. That's right, shipmate. I'm Matt, and this, this is Polly. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Looks like Jess has found a friend. <laughs> <laughs> is Polly your cat, Matt? <laughs> no, Polly's a ship's cat, Pat. She comes with the boat I've hired. A boat? Can we see it? Please? Wow! She's really something, Matt. Just like a real pirate ship. Matthew? Matthew Clifton? I don't believe it. Reverend Timms? <laughs> The very same. You haven't changed a bit, Reverend. <laughs> I can't say the same for you. Last time I saw your Uncle Matthew, he was no bigger than you, Julian. I'll never forget that summer. It was the year the Greendale Cup disappeared. <clears throat> the Greendale Cup? What was that? It was the grand prize at the flower show. A huge, gleaming cup made of pure silver. Wow! What happened to it, Reverend Timms? 
Nobody knows. But one thing's for sure. The flower show has never been quite the same without it. <coughs> Avast the lovers! Ship ahoy! Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! I wonder who did take the Greendale Cup, Dad? Perhaps it was pirates. No, it wasn't pirates who took the Greendale Cup, Pat. It was me. <gasps> it was a couple of days before the flower show. Morning, Reverend. Think he'll win the cup this year. We live in hope, Mrs. Goggins. That gave me an idea. I decided to take the Greendale Cup and hide it. We'd all have a treasure hunt, and after we'd found it, we'd put it back in time for the flower show. But it didn't work out like that. I took the cup, but I'm afraid I never gave it back. Why not? What happened? I came down with chicken pox. By the time I was better, I'd forgotten all about the cup. I remember that. It was just before you moved to America. Yeah, and then it was too late. I felt terrible, but there was nothing I could do. So now you've come back to find it. Exactly. And I've brought this. <gasps> A treasure map! Yep, I drew it to remind myself where I hid the cup. Wow! So where did you hide it? The island? Why do you want to go there? Because of the Greendale Cup. Julian's uncle buried it there when he was a boy, and now he wants to go and dig it up in time for the flower show. Please, can I go, Mum? Please, please, can I go? <laughs> wow. Me hearties, it's time to set sail. Come on! Now then, where did I leave my little garden fork? Mrs Ooh. Clifton, we've come to play pirates with Julian. Yo, Yo ho, ho, ho. I'm afraid he's not here, Charlie. He and Mira have gone treasure hunting. But that's what we were going to do. Oh, I brought me metal detector, look. It detects anything made of metal, like, um... Yeah! I can't believe Julian and Mira forgot. Never mind. We can go treasure hunting without them. You could look for my little garden fork. It seems to have disappeared. Good idea, Mrs Clifton. We'll find it. Come on. Right, able seaman Pat. Are we ready to set sail? Aye, aye, Captain. Then away we go. We've been sailing with Matt. 
We're sailing a ship with patch. We're off to the oil. With our treasure map, we'd be looking for silver that's buried in the ground. Hoping that something that was lost will soon be found. Sailing on a pirate ship and we say yo ho ho. We're sailing on a pirate ship and we say yo ho ho. Arr, now we be swabbing down the decks on our maiden trip. So you better watch your step or you might find you will slip. It's no good falling over if you don't have sea legs. Best you get below, boy lad. Rest ye, boy, the kegs are sailing on a pirate ship and we say yo ho ho. We're sailing on a pirate ship and we say yo ho ho. Are we be looking for the cup that's lost for many a year? Everybody wondered how it seemed to disappear. But if Captain can remember just where he left it then, we'll dig it up and clean it up and bring it home again. We're sailing on a pirate ship and we say yo ho ho. We're sailing on a pirate ship and we say yo ho ho. Can I have a go, Charlie? Oh, you won't find anything. Oh, won't I? Ta-da! You found it! Well done, everybody. How about some pirate grog as a reward? No thanks, Mrs Clifton. We're off to find more treasure. <laughs> Happy hunting. According to the map, the treasure is buried near the big tree in the middle of the island. Uh, which one? Oh, well, it's marked with a letter M. <coughs> Look! M for Matt. This is it. What now, Dad? Take 30 paces in the direction of the fallen log that looks like a crocodile. Hmm. Over there! That's it. 30 paces. Right. Here we go. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Any luck, Ajay? I'm afraid not. Have you lost something, Mrs Baines? Yes, Charlie. Nikhil's lost his favourite train. A little metal one that Ajay gave him. Metal, eh? Don't worry, Mrs Baines. We'll find it. Oh, dear. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Never mind, Charlie. I'm sure... <gasps> Is this it? This is it, shipmates. The moment of truth. Meow. Are you ready? Aye, 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 sir. Right. Let's find that treasure. I'm never going to find anything with my metal detector. Never. 
You'll be hoping for a prize at the flower show again then, Reverend. Hope springs eternal, Mrs. Goggins. But it will never be the same without the Greendale Cup. Oh, aye. It was a sad day for Greendale when the cup was lost. A very sad day. The Greendale Cup? What's that? <coughs> Nothing. Nothing. Perhaps this isn't the right place after all. We can't give up now. We've got to find the cup in time to get it back for the flower show. Don't worry, shipmate. I'll find that cup if it's the last thing I do. I don't know why he thinks the cup is buried on the green. I've got it! I've got it! It's a bottle top. Come on, Charlie. Let's go home. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, one, two, testing, one, two. Come along, Ted. We must get these tables unloaded before Mrs. Pottage arrives. Right you are, Reverend. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Give us a song then, Arthur. What? Oh, oh no, I, I couldn't do that, Dr. Gilbertson. Oh, shame. Men of holy march to glory, victory is over ye. Uh, one, two, testing, testing, one, two. Oh, I don't understand why we haven't found anything. We've done exactly what it said on the map. Let's see. That's it. That's why we haven't found anything. We've been digging in the wrong place. Come on. The map says to take 30 paces. And that's what Cousin Matt did. Yes, but he drew the map when he was our age. His legs would have been loads shorter than they are now. So? So he went too far. What we need is someone whose legs are the same length now as Matt's were then. Of course. Someone like, um... Julian. Go on, then, Julian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Sarah, hoping for a prize this year? And this is the section for most artistic floral arrangement. Very nice. Hello, Charlie. Still treasure hunting. He's looking for the Greendale Cup, Mrs Clifton. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30! Ready? Ready. Ready! 
I think we've got it. I know we've got it. Come on, shipmates. Dig in. The judging is about to begin. So, if entrants need to make any final adjustments to their arrangements, could they please do so now? What's up with Charlie? <laughs> it's a long story. <clears throat> well, shall we open it? Look at that! It's beautiful! Wow! There it is, shipmates! That's the Greendale Cup! Now, all we've got to do is get it back to Greendale in time for the presentations. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to gather round... Good luck, Sarah! Thanks, Nisha. Hurry up, Dad. They'll be starting soon. That's it. Greendale, here we come. <coughs> and the prize for the most artistic floral arrangement goes to... Oh, they've already started! Hey! Mum's won a prize! And now for the grand prize! The winner for the best all-round display is... Land Ahoy! The Reverend Tims for his wonderful roses. Hooray! me, Reverend. I took the Greendale Cup all those years ago. And I can't tell you how sorry I am. <gasps> but now, with the help of my friends, I've got the chance to put things right. May I? Yes. Reverend Timms, I would like to present you with the Flower Show Grand Prize. The Greendale Cup. That's right, Charlie. Real Greendale treasure. And we're never going to lose it again. Isn't that right, Matt? That's right, Pat. Three cheers for Matt and Pat. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> Let's not forget the most important people of all, eh, Matt? <laughs> That's right, Pat. We couldn't have done it without them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Greendale Pirates. Yeah. 